Yo, what's going on, everybody? Eagle Boy 1022 coming with you guys with another live Glorious Mail Day. This is Glorious Mail Day number 92. Uh, we are eight away from 100. I haven't did a mail day in like three weeks, and it looks like I'm actually damn near on time. Um, it might be a little after seven, uh, but I'm closer than close. What's up, Fester? What's going on, man? Thanks for joining. Um, so this is probably like the most on time I've been in a long time. Normally I'm like 15, 20, 30, <clears throat> even 40 minutes late. Um, but today I'm on time and I got a lot of stuff to share with you guys. Um, got three piles, man. We got this pile here, um, full of stuff. We got a pile over there and we got the pile next to it, man. Um, like I said, I haven't done this in three weeks. So, um, a lot of this stuff have accumulated and um, I'm ready to get this stuff put away. Um, you know, this stuff been taking up space, um, just getting on my nerves because I done knocked down these piles like a zillion times. Um, so now once I get done this video, between tonight and tomorrow, I can actually put all this stuff away. Um, as you see, I changed my background. It's still Mr. Brian Dawkins himself, uh, but instead of uh, going with the eight by 10 auto that I normally have up here, I decided to go with a magazine. Uh, shout out to my guy, Big Cat, for the magazine bag. Um, keep my magazine nice and safe and dust-free. Um, yeah. So, um, I'm basically going to start with um, some stuff that was given to me. Um, we have stuff from everywhere. I got um, some things that was given to me. Um, I was in some fire sales crazy on Facebook. Um, so, a lot of this stuff is not the typical stuff I normally bring in. Um, but with these fire sales, I pretty much just loaded up on everything for like super cheap. Like the pricing was, um, you couldn't beat it for the cards that you were getting. And, um, I've tagged the hell out of Big Cat and Eloy, um, in these fire sales, man. And I don't know how, what, what kind of damage they did in the fire sale, but I did a, um, I did some damage in the ones that I, that I actually bought stuff from. Um, so like I said, we got stuff. And so what's going on, man? Thanks for the share on um on twitter there man seem like it i'll I be um i'll be putting up posts that i'm going live and i only get like a couple people that might comment on it or, or share it so man them people on uh what's up yeti them people on twitter man they know better man and half of them know me um it's crazy that when they want me to be involved in iraq they got no problem hitting me up <laughs> but they can't come in and stop by and um you know come just ha come hang out with me for a minute or two that's how people are, man. Damn bastards. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, I got stuff from everywhere. Some nice piles. Um, I got some. Um, I got some bait, uh, football cards from two thousand three, and I got some some more football cards from nineteen ninety six. Um, it's a pack that my guy Matt had got me, and um, actually, nah, I shouldn't say a pack. It's actually a box. Um, so I'm probably going to do a, um, I'm probably going to rip those. I thought about ripping those tonight, like one box a night. Uh, I mean one box tonight or tomorrow and then the next box next week. I'm not sure. It all depends on how I feel after this video. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'll show those boxes at the end of what I got. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start, um, knocking out this, uh, this, uh, glorious mail day I haven't done in three weeks. All right, so we're going to start with pile over here to my right. So obviously, when I turn the camera around, you've seen this sitting on top. This is basically a Russell Wilson winning ticket from Contenders. Um, this was not something that was given to me. This was something that was actually shipped with something that I bought. Um, so there it is, winning ticket, insert. Um, this here, a good friend of mine sent me this stuff. Um, this good friend always liked to remain anonymous. He never likes to, to say he hooked me up with some cards or whatnot. So my good anonymous friend had hooked me up with a nice, um, nice little package of cards, man. And, um, this stuff here is not all that he sent me. Um, this is just the better stuff that he sent me. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. So we're going to start off with Mr. Calvin Ridley out of Elite. Um, this thing is number to 40. So that is definitely a short print there. So that's definitely a nice card. Those that forgot, I do PC, um, side PC, Calvin Ridley. Not as much as this guy here, um, Mike Williams, but he is a part of the um, the side PC. 
And as you see, we got Mike Williams. Nothing special here, just a base card. We got some more Mike Williams action. We got this here. This is number the 49. This is the red um, Panini football insert. Um, can't remember exactly what my count is on Mr. Mike Williams. If I had to guess, I did count, but I forgot. I'm going to say I'm right about 190-some cards. Um, haven't really decided. Rather, I'm going to try to do the Super PC um, like I did with the Dawkins. Um, you got to have 250 cards to get in the group. Um, I'm already in the group with Dawkins, but I'm kind of thinking about adding Mike Williams, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, you know, doing a Super PC at one player is hectic enough, and the Mike Williams collection is just fun. Um, like, especially when you run out of cards to get, you know, having 400 plus cards, um, eBay can only offer you so many more cards. Um, and the prices of cards and shit is so ridiculous, man. Um, I actually stepped back from really getting a lot of docking cards, um, because the price had on his stuff had went up again. And, um, I'd rather get some other stuff than to take my hard earned money and spend, ex uh, ex Extends of money on just getting one card. Like one auto might run you now of Dawkins about 125 to 150 bucks, if not more. And that's not cool. When I first started collecting Dawkins, um, I was getting his autos right around 35 bucks to 70 bucks. So definitely, 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 definitely not cool. So, but let me keep going. We got the absolute Miles Sanders rookie. We have another rookie, Mr. Miles Sanders, out of Classics. We have the Chronicles, Jalen Hurts. We have Chronicles again, but this is the XR, Mr. Jalen Hurts. Um, I was looking at getting some of his stuff, um, his stuff and Jalen Rieger's, only because, you know, the Dawkins stuff is um, too expensive, and so is Jalen Hurts, so I haven't had much luck um getting um um getting um Jalen Hurts stuff so what's up Crosby man hey, it's not gonna be too bad man I got some nice stuff to share man I got a lot of stuff to share um got this here too this is the contenders insert of Mr. Kyler Murray and um Jalen Hurts what's up big cat good to see you in here my brother from another like no other we got Mr. Uh, Jalen Hurts again. This is out of Absolute. We have the green variation of that uh, Absolute card of the rookie of Mr. Hurts. And we also got the red variation. So, nice. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Nice stuff, my anonymous donor. Um, still moving on with the anonymous donor stuff. <laughs> We got the um, got the Jalen Hurts here um, out of Dunruss. This is the Elite Series insert. This is the gold. Um, they do have some other colors. Um, the other one's silver, and there's another color. I don't remember what it is, um, but definitely not bad, especially with his price tag of stuff anymore. We got the uh, regular Dunruss, John Hightower. I think Hightower is going to have a good year with us. Um, this upcoming year, man. Um, our wide receivers so far are looking to be Jalen Rieger, um, Hightower, Chris Watkins, and I think we got, uh, I don't really, I don't know about J.J. Arcega, man, um, but we'll see. Um, moving on, I really love these cards, man. The uh, rookie Gridiron Kings and the Gridiron Kings. Um, these are some nice cards, man. I really like the look of them. I know the older ones have, like, a nice um, texture to them, man. Um, I really don't remember, not to be funny, what this card actually felt like when I just put it in the loader. I was getting tired, and um, I just threw it up in the loader. So, um, all right. Still with the rookies, we got two Jalen Rieger um, rookie cards. Um, obviously, one is the, the draft, and the other one is just... Um, just a base rookie here. This is not the prism. Neither one is. But still good. Sorry, like I said, this is going to be a long one. So y'all going to have to bear with me, man. I got tons and 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 tons of cards. Jalen Hurts here. 
I'm going to speed it up a little bit. From Prestige, got the Rookie and Stars, Jalen Hurts. Got the insert of Mr. Randall Cunningham from Prestige. We have the uh, Zach Ertz base. We have the green kickoff version of the Carson Wentz, which is no more in Philly. All right, coming up on the number stuff. You guys know how I do, man. I always, I always put it from from least favorite to best favorite. It's just what I do. Can't give you, can't show you guys all the good stuff right up because y'all might leave me. Got to build up the suspense a little bit, like they do in the movies. Except nobody's getting killed in this one. <laughs> here we go here we got a nice numbered extra points donovan mcnab purple this thing is numbered to 50 i believe i am correct thing is numbered out of 50 so that's a short print what's up al Loy? no they're not sticky sir all right we got the um crown royal Mr. Ryan Matthews, which was okay when we got him, but he damn sure didn't last long. This is number the 149. We got the gold standard. A lot of people's not big on gold standard, but I like gold standard. I think they got some really nice, um, the patches and the, RP, uh, the uh, RPAs look good, man. Um, but this is the Jalen Rieger out of 75. So that is a, a short print there. Then we got a super short point. Uh, point. Um, we have the, um, Jalen Rieger purple, which is numbered out of 10. All right. And then getting done with the, with the rookies for the moment, we got a nice insert. Um, this is out of Contenders Optic. This is, uh, round two round numbers. Nice green there. Um, uh, Mr. Miles Sanders and Mr. JJ Arcega Whiteside. <laughs> you stupid, man. Um, this is a short print to uh, 27. Uh, let me find it. There it is. I actually have a auto, I believe. Um, it's like, uh, it's not load. I think it's numbered out like 99 or 199. I have the dual auto. Um, it actually looks like this card here. Um, let's see here. We got the winning ticket, Mr. Nick Foles. This is also numbered out of 27. Mr. Um, Nick Foles, and we're not going to get on this because the Madden group I wanted to kill one night um, over my man's, um, over his nickname, you know what I'm saying? Because nobody knew what it was, so I told him what it was, and they gave me a hard time all night because they act like they never heard it. Um, but yeah, Mr. Nick Foles there. <laughs> we got Mr. Brandon Graham at a 99. Mr. Underrated, damn good um, defensive player, man. Super Bowl hero. We got the the bookend, 10 of 10 out of Prestige. It's an orange. Um, Alshon Jeffrey. And um, to be honest, man, I don't really get too much more of his stuff anymore. Um, I really love Alshon Jeffrey when he came to the, to the Eagles, man. But once him and Carson Wentz had their beef, he just wasn't the same, man. So I was more disappointed and upset with him that he basically quit on us, man. Um, so that's why I've been so frustrated and so much hatred towards Mr. Jeffries. Um, so, but this is damn sure a nice card, and I do appreciate it from my anonymous uh, donor. <laughs> All right, getting down to the end of this, and then we'll be we'll go to. Uh, stack number two there, and then we got stack number three. Then I got some other stuff to show you guys. Hope you guys like the magazine back there. Change it up. No 8x10 tonight, just the magazine. One of like six I have. All right, so we're going to go with the rookie uh, rookie patch. This is not game worn, but this is Mr. Uh, Deshaun Jackson that is no longer an eagle. Um, one of my favorite players uh, when he first came to us, um... But bringing him back was a mistake because he's only on the field maybe two games and only did something decent in the first game. Um, so, But I still like him, and um, if I can come across some of his rookie stuff, I will indeed pick it up. 
but only in the um you got that right you can change my name to that in the group too if you want um only in the eagles uni i would collect this stuff we got a numbered mr miles sanders to 99 i'm sorry donovan McNabb to 99 i actually um i have the number card of this but i don't have the patch um so that's just basically a white napkin in there and um this is not um well it says game worn um but she's not really dirty um, but it says game worn there, so maybe. Here you go. Listen at you, Henso. Don't encourage him, man. Uh, we got the Team Tandems out of Absolute. Um, this is Course 2020. Um, so we got Mr. Miles Sanders along with Mr. Carson Wentz, number to 199. We got Absolute again, a green napkin of Mr. Rigor, um, um, Rookie Force. We also have a, what we got here? Rookies and Stars, uh, Jalen Rigor. I'm being funny when I say that. Um, cross Training. This is not numbered, I believe. I thought it was. Um, uh, but it's, it's not, which is cool. Um, two green napkins there. We have a Tony Hunt rookie auto numbered to a hundred. And lastly, but surely from my anonymous donor. Thank you. I appreciate the cards. Um, we have a five of five Jeremy Macklin autograph out of prime signatures. Jeremy Macklin was one of my um, one of my favorite Eagles. He did good as being the, uh, the number two uh, wide receiver. Um, when he left us, he didn't do a damn thing. Um, believe it or not, the last Eagle to have a thousand yards um, for the season. What's up, Mike? A? The last receiver to have a thousand yards was Jeremy Macklin. You would think it'd be Deshaun Jackson, but it definitely was not. It was Jeremy Macklin. So let's see if we can change that this year. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, all right, guys. So we're going to go on to stack two. Um, and this stack two is a lot of fire sales and cheap eBay pickups. But the, um, about 80% of this is fire sale stuff. So let's get started. Got some nice stuff coming along. Just got to bear with me till I get to it. But we're going to start with a Mr. Um, C.D. Lamb. This is out of uh, Illusions. This is not numbered. We have a Rookie of the Year contenders of Mr. A.J. Dillon. This was cheap. I got it for a buck. And I already had shipping coming along. Um, so I just started picking up stuff to make my shipping worth it. We got a Rookie of the Year of Mr. T. Higgins. We have a Rookie of the Year of C.D. Lamb. We have another Rookie of the Year of Mr. Jerry Judy. We have another Rookie of the Year <laughs> of Mr. Jordan Love. Jordan Love, Groupy Love, Jordan Love. Then we have the red Rookie of the Year of Mr. Joe Burrow. Yeah. And lastly for Rookie of the Year, we have Mr. Tua. I actually have the, maybe the green, I believe. Um, but I seen the red. I got the red. It was like, I think, two bucks or a dollar or a dollar fifty, something like that. But I did pick those up. Um, pretty cheap. All right. So moving out of contenders. Now, this is all mainly PC stuff. Um, of course, this stuff was non-PC stuff, but it was cheap. So I grabbed it. I got a whole big box of uh, rookie cards. It's like a five-row box. Um, the boys seen how how organized my cards, man. I am very very organized when it comes to put my cards away. Super organized, maybe too organized. Um, but I have a home for all these and a nice organized rookie box. 
All right, so let's move on to uh, my guy, um, Mr. Mike Williams. So, this was something that I grabbed in a fire sale for 50 cents. Um, this is uh, this is 2019 uh, Mike Williams Emergent. Nice pickup. I got a few of these. Um, Mr. Mike Williams, again, at an optic. This is the, I guess you want to say, silver prism. We got a sick patch of 75. I bought this on eBay. Um, it took me a month to get this, though. I don't know what was going on with the shipping, um, but that's a nice patch, man. I mean, you got four solid colors in that thing, man. Um, you got the white, you got the blue, like the light blue, you got the yellow in there, and then you got the navy blue, man. That's that's a nice that's a nice patch, man. Um, or just never disappoint when it comes to the patches, man. Um, this was um out of seventy five, and I only paid like two dollars and fifty cents for this card. Um, it was on like a five day, uh, bid. Nobody bid it until the end. And um, it was only me and another person. I put two dollars. Actually, I put three twenty-five in there, and I got it for like two fifty, two twenty-five, or somewhere around there. Um, so that's a steal, man. And um, this is actually his. Um, as you, I'm gonna see here. Um, it don't have the rookie thing on here, but this is the rookie card, man. This is from two thousand seventeen. So that was definitely a steal, man. And my last Mike Williams was a steal also. Um, I got this card for three dollars. Um, on eBay, this is a nice Spectra high voltage. Um, she has three colors in it. Um, she has the white, the light blue, and the yellow. Um, this does not have the navy in there. And this is a short print to 50. As you see. So that was actually a, a really nice pickup too for three bucks. I think it was three bucks and like 87 cents or something like that ship. <clears throat> it came in... Um, just a, a, a PWE, but it was cool because they packaged it real nice. Um, so, yeah, you know, Spectra is nice. And to get Spectra for three bucks, that's a good deal to me. All right, moving on. These next four cards, shout out to Mr. Berkey, uh, Burke Knowledge. Um, he's been um, sending me some stuff here and there. Um, appreciate it that he thought enough of me just to send me some cards. So we'll start off with a um, Jalen Hurts. We also have another Jalen Hurts out of Optic. The Rookies. We have a Jalen Hurts Playoff. I'm sorry, Playbook. This is the non-numbered one. I don't think these are numbered anyway. These are like colored. Um, I think they have purple, orange, green, red, and it might be another color. Um, but this is just the base. And along with that, the last card, uh, we have a Jalen Rieger, Rigor, uh, second down insert um, from playoff. Um, this thing is number 249. So not a bad card, man. I love number stuff. Um, the big cat said I would really start going after number stuff. Um, which I have, man. It's funny because he said that everything um, will start changing. You'll start chasing those big cards, and then you'll start chasing patches, and then you'll start chasing rookie cards and um, inserts, man. And that's exactly how it's been going. Funny. Very funny. We're still in pile one. This is basically what I have left of pile one. That's right here. Then we have pile number two. And then I got some other items to show you guys. Um, so, should be done shortly. Um I know I'm not going as slow as I normally do. I'm trying to speed up because I know this is a lot of stuff. And it's I know it's kind of hard to be uh, watching somebody's stuff that you're really not a fan of. Because all of you guys always find a way to diss my eagles. And I don't appreciate that stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm going to be dissing them this year too, man. Because I don't know what the hell we're doing. Oh, my camera fell. Give me one second to regroup. Goddamn tripod. Alrighty. I think we're back. We should be back. I fucking hit the lock, the lock screen button by accident. Try to catch the phone. Um, so we should be back. Alright. 
so let's start with some nice um yeah you right you're exactly right i was thinking the same thing i said if i wasn't on here talking shit that would have never happened but you know me eagle boy baby i'm gonna talk my shit i can't help it um but let's start off with this nice rated rookie man um a mr dallas uh goddard man i got this thing for a buck um berkey what's happening bro i just got done showing the cards i got from you man appreciate it brother um but that's a solid card paid a buck for it couldn't beat that got this fletcher cox um card too um i paid 50 cents for this we got some contenders fester probably like the top half of this but not the bottom <laughs> We got Mr. C.D. Lamb and Jalen Rieger. Got them together. I got this in a fire sale for 50 cents. And then I turned around and got this one for 75 cents. This is the red variation. So pretty dope. Two good wide receivers. Um, but this year, um, C.D. Lamb was actually the the the, the, the winner as um, far as being better, the better um, wide receiver of the two, man. Um, but I'm hoping Rieger have a um have a good year, man. Um he should. They got Jalen Hurts throwing the ball. They all get along well. And believe it or not, man, fucking Elroy has um Jalen Rieger in one of our Madden leagues, man. And he's crushing it, man. So if he can crush it on Madden, hopefully he can come to the NF uh B um next year in the NFL crushing it. So got big hopes for him, man, and I like him, man. Um I I wish he would have still got Jeff Justin Jefferson. Um, everybody know I was pissed off about that pick because I really wanted Justin Jefferson and he wanted to come to us, but we didn't pick him and he lit it up for uh, the Vikings, man. Um, so we failed again, really getting that top notch wide receiver. Um, but I'm hoping Rieger can just, um, turn it up this year for us. All right. So going back to contenders, we have the base version of the, um, Jalen Hurts. I think I got this for 50 cents. Should have went for more than 50 in my opinion, but I don't think the guy really knew what he what he was selling there. I don't remember how much I paid for this, but this is the red um, variation. As you see, I told you guys I picked up a lot of different stuff um, this time around. Um, a lot of the good high dollar, uh, good solid. High-end cards are too expensive, man. So, um, we got the Jalen Rieger, uh, red. I think it is hobby, man. I think it's hobby, and I think the green is retail. Um, but like I told you guys in my last video, if you guys, um, want to get some color variations and stuff, you know, that's not Prism, you know, go to Optic, man, because the Optic cards, they're kind of expensive, but they're not as much as the Prisms. And as you see, this next video, uh, not next video, coming up, I got a bunch of Optic cards. Um, so I, I took my own advice. We have this here. We have the Jalen Rieger Playbook. Um, orange. These are not numbered, just colored. We have the Jalen Rieger Checker Book. All right, man. Thanks for stopping in, bro. I appreciate you coming in. Um, I guess you'd call that, uh, call it checkers. Or I don't know the exact um, wording on this, but I'll call it checkerboard. Um, then we got some Dunruss. Um, just a regular rated rookie, non-optic. Um, Jalen Hurts. So I did, was able to, because I didn't have much rookie stuff for Jalen Hurts or Rieger. Um, but I will say I did turn that around in these fire sales, man. Got the Gridiron here, Gridiron Kings, Mr. Jalen Rieger, to match the uh, Jalen um, Hurts one I got. Then I went and picked up the green, um, the green um, varsity card here. Yeah, I got this for, <laughs> I think, 89 cents. Nobody bid it on it, and I put a bid in it. And I won, uh, and I had to pay a dollar and fifty cents shipping. It came in a PWE, so that was a good deal. Got some more John High Tower. Um, this is the purple. We got the Jalen Rieger Green Rated Rookie. We got the blue 
Jalen Rieger rated rookie. And that's not numbered. And this one isn't either. We have the purple Jalen Rieger. We have the orange Jalen Rieger. Rated rookie. This one's numbered to 199. Fire cell, man. Fire cell. Then we got the Jalen Rieger. Um, we got the negative, man. Uh, um, got this for a dollar fifty-eight or some mess like that. Something weird. Um, I've been wanting to get some negative cards for a while, um, but they were expensive. But now the prices came down on them, so I was able to steal this one for cheap. We got the blue, Jalen Rieger. This one is not numbered. This is like the light blue. Yes, they do look good, Fest. I got one coming um, out of Optic. I didn't know Optic did negatives too, but I got one on, on the way. We got Mr. Dallas Goddard. This is also the light blue, so it is definitely not numbered. We have the Fletcher Cox 2020 Blue Disco. Future Hall of Famer here. This is a short print to 79. We have Mr. John Hightower out of 75. Out of certified. Certified. Yeah. Uh, then we got out of 99, we got the Jason Kelsey XR. Not bad. All right, almost done with the first deck. I got this in Snazes Limited Break. It's the only damn thing I hit, I believe. Um, damn, um, I paid. Believe it or not, I said I wasn't going to do breaks anymore. And uh, um, I said that was going to be my last break. And um, I thought I was hoping I was going to go out with a bang. I paid $165 uh, for the Eagles in a six-box limited break. Um, I says previously sold some stuff, so I said, fuck it, I will do it, and out of that damn six boxes, this is the only fucking card I got, so this is what a $165 card looked like, I'm gonna bring it up closer so you guys can know what a $165 card looks like, you see it, do you see it, $165, see this card, See how I feel about this break? Look. <laughs> Dawkins, man. Dawkins. Moving on. As you see how I feel about that break again. $165 card. See it? See my hand go back? One more time. You see it? You see my hand go back? That's how I feel about that card and the $165 I had to pay for that break. Moving on. <laughs> At an absolute, we got rookie materials, Mr. Jalen Regor. We got the Prism. You guys know I really don't even bring in... Um, these type patches, man. Um, but they was cheap. And I don't have any other... Like I said, I don't have much of Jalen Rieger or Jalen Hurts. Uh, so I picked up the patch, man. Out of Prism. This is the silver. To follow the silver, we got the blue, man. And I got those cheap, man. I can't complain. I paid maybe $250. Um, $250 for both. Not for both. A piece. Um, so, yeah. And that's a nice blue, man. Um, this one is um, optic. The other one was Prism. We got this nice patch here, Mr. Fletcher Cox here. Um, this is game worn. It's not dirty though. What's up, Vox? Um, this is number two twenty-five. So that's a nice little short print for the future Hall of Fame in there. As y'all see, y'all see more of his stuff. I'll be getting more and more and more. <clears throat> I always collected him, but his price is not as high as it once was. So he's getting to be more affordable. Um, I got this card for. A dollar 
Um, so don't really judge me on there. It's just a faint. Well, it's a it's a part of the number, and in the corner, it's got a little trace of gray going up the top there. Um, this is a short print of seventy five, so you can't beat that for a dollar. Like I said, everything I pretty much bought here is like value stuff, not the the big boy stuff. Um, but this is a nice card, and this is the only card I have um, out of place in patches. So, oh, man, don't do that to me, Jason, man. Don't do that to me. Don't be like that, man. I got some really nice Eagle stuff here, man. I, I never disappoint when it comes to mail days, man. I never disappoint. Um, nice for you. To, I appreciate you joining me, you know. Um, but I never, never, ever disappoint. I always have nice stuff. Regardless how bad people hate the Eagles, they got to admit, I have, I do get some nice stuff. I could just have you come in here and watch me open a bunch of these or share a bunch of these. Hey, guys, this is my mail day. Oh, this is all I got. I got like 8,000 of these. Thank you for joining, um, looking at just an insert. No, I'll give you, I always get good stuff, man. I got to have good stuff in the PC, man. I'm picky. So, this is a short print to 10. This is red. Um, that is actually, indeed, part of the eagle. Um, that is part of the... Um, that's a part of the name tag there. Not the number. It's part of the name tag. So, that's pretty nice. Like I said, place and patches, they never disappoint. Um, got this right here. Um... Hey, man, I, hey, make sure you tag me, man. Make sure you tag me. Got this, um, I was in a player break. I got Mr. Brian Westbrook for a couple bucks. Um, so I did hit this thing here. This is out of 50, nothing special. Um, he does have some sick patches, man. They all have like this, these cards out of nine. And the cards out of nine, all the patches are sick, man. Um, but I did not get that one. I got this one. And... I did hit this too. I did pay a little. Um, I paid like twenty eight bucks for Jalen Rigger, in a I think it was a I want to say like a twelve box break or a six box break. Um, but this is a not a bad, not a bad, um, not a bad patch. Huh? Um, wish it was a little bit more. As you see, you got some 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 action here, but then they give you two napkins so. Oh my god. Yeah. And the last card for um stack stack two. And this is pretty nice, man. And I got this for three dollars, man. Um the XR Jalen Rieger. Um that is the number there. You have the number, you have the white, the gray, and you have the black. This is numbered out of seven oh out of twenty five. I'll get seventy five. So this is a nice short print, man. And um Nice card, man. Definitely nice. For three bucks, man, I really, like I said, really, really, really nice value shopping I've did. Um, this is my last stack. And this is where all the autos come in. There's not much autos. Um, there's a few here. And then, you know, of course, there's no video without having Brian Dawkins. So let's start off with this, man. We have the Fletcher Cox. Um, illusions in case card, short print to fifty, nice card. I tried to get the out of twenty five. I fell asleep, and I missed it, and it wound up only selling for like I think eight bucks. So my feelings were hurt. We have Mr. Dallas Goddard. This is a um prism. This should be his. This is definitely his rookie year. Rookie Prism, so it was 2018. Non-numbered. Got Mr. John Hightower again. Out of uh, 199 Out of Certified. Getting to the end, boys. You know, I told you guys, I always save the best for last. I'm heating up. I'm heating her up. I'm getting the water boiling. Um, so, we got this here. <laughs> I got this cheap, too, man. I paid $4 for this. Um, uh, I think it was two fifty shipping. Um, this is number to forty nine. Nice little championship ticket there, of Mr. John Hightower. Yes, sir. We got John Hightower again. I paid two dollars and seventy nine cents for this one. 
Um, no one came back and bid it. He started it at 240, 279. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I paid more shipping than I did for the card. Um, so not bad. This is not number two. This is where it starts heating up. We got the Fletcher Cox, um, NFL 100. Um, this is out of 99. And this is on card. This man has a zillion signatures, man. Um, so every time I buy his card, I always look at one of the signatures he has. And it always matches a signature that I have. Um, so that's actually a nice on card. Then we got the blue variation, which is number 50. As you see, the signature is a little different there. Um, like I said, man, he just does not know exactly how he wants to sign, man. He's just one of those players. I guess he signs so much, he just he signs however you feel. So this is blue out of 50. And I have a nicer one. This one is actually out of 10. Um, this is the first time in in the playbook, I mean, in the, um, in the place and patches that I've seen that he actually put the X on there. Um, but I actually went and looked through some of his, some other autos, um, that he has, and he actually has a couple other autos that have that ugly looking X on the, on the end of it. Um, so I just wanted to verify it was his, you know, of course, Panini does, you know, Panini is, is uh, guaranteed his autograph. Um, so that's nice, man. Out of red, I mean, out of ten, that's that's solid, man. I think I paid ten bucks for this thing, man. Um, out of ten, paid ten, and this came from Canada, so nice pickup for me, I believe. And going back to that break, I told you guys I was in. I was in the um, in the player break of in case. I wound up getting this. This is the Jalen Rieger. Um, it's a mint nine in case. Rookie endorsement auto um, with the inscribed Go Birds. This is number to 50. So not bad there. Of course, he got a 10 um, on the auto. So not bad, not bad. It's been a while since I had an uh, a in-case graded card. I think the last in-case graded card I got is Mike Williams, and that was 2017. So that was nice, man. I got my 28 bucks worth, I believe. All right, guys, moving on to the little bit, the last of the Mohicans. Um, you already know it's my boy. We're going to start off with a die cut of Mr. Brian Dawkins. Thing is number to 75. Add an upper deck. Sweet looking little die cut. Nothing really special, just trimmed out at the bottom. Been nice that the whole card was trimmed out. Got Mr. Brian Dawkins out of place and patches. The Legends out of 70. Funny story is, I try to get the out of 10 um, from a guy in the Eagles website page I'm in. Um, but it's always a red flag when somebody only has Cash App. Um, and I, I, I don't have Cash App. But I was going to find somebody that had the cash app because I really wanted the card. And then I was like, nah, hell no. If you don't have, um, if you don't have um, PayPal or something like that, we can't do business, man. And a, a good friend of mine over there um, kind of put me on to that, man. Um, so cash app equals red flags. So no deal was done on that Dawkins. Um, with that being said, I did get the out of 25. Um, this is the green um, legends. So, not bad. We got this um, Upper Deck NFL Artifacts. This is out of 50. This is Game Worn Patch. It's just a, it looked like a, pretty much, it don't even look like a patch. It looked more like a sock. Um, but this is short print and it is game use. My guy Dawkins. Then we got this card here. This is the Upper Deck Black. Um, this card is actually a little beat up. Um, the pictures didn't show some of the cuts and stuff in it. It's not bad, but I'm real particular about my Dawkins. Um, but it was my fault, I guess, because I didn't look at the picture good enough. Which you can't notice it here. You might notice it's a little bit stuff up there by the L and the K up top. Um, but it's also some stuff at the bottom, but you really can't notice it. 
Um, then there's a chip up there right above the, the flag part where the star, the last star, it's a little dimple there, man. Um, it's a nice card though, but I wish it was a little in better condition, uh, condition. Um, but it was my fault cause I looked at the picture and I just, I don't know what I did on that one. So I can only kick myself in the ass for that one. So this is the second from last card I got. This thing is a um, two-color patch, placing patches. Um, this is basically the Hall of Fame card. Uh, Kitten Claws. Um, number to 60, which I got the out of 50. Um, none of his patches are game-worn that I've came across um, in the newer stuff. So, And my last card, before I show you guys some other stuff, um, this was a card that I seen. I got this off Twitter. Um, I did manage to get a Ruby Red um, Brian Dawkins Flawless All Pro Ink out of 15. Um, this is one of my favorite cards because I do like how the red pops um, with this card. It looks amazing in person. Um, I got a decent deal on there. Um, the guy on Twitter wanted a little bit more for it. Um, but we was able to find a happy median. Um, I still paid a little bit for it. Um, but, you know, I do love my Dawkins. And I did say uh, by next year, I would like to have 80 autos of his. Um, with this auto, I'm at exactly 64 autos. Um, so I don't think I'm going to reach 80. Um, but I, I might wind up with like 70 or 72. Um, but yes, um yeah so god was selling it i seen it uh took me a few days to wrap my head on this because i really 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 uh didn't want to spend the money for it um so i wound up paying i think like 80 bucks or 90 bucks for this card um the good part is the one i seen on um the one on ebay they're asking 299 dollars for which is fucking ridiculous um but i was able to get this and that card for two ninety nine still hasn't sold, and this thing's been on there probably like a month. Um, but definitely a silent card. I do like flawless. Um, Eloy always gave me a whole lot of shit about having flawless cards. Um, I have quite, I have maybe a handful of them, maybe five or six. Um, but this was nice, and I, I was glad I was able to pick it up. So that's pretty much it for the mail day part of cards. Um, I did show this piece that I got. Um, doing my ripping chill and I told my guys that I would um, they told me to show it again um, when I did my mail day and I'm about to share this with you guys again um, I was very excited to get this piece and I posted this picture online and I actually got another response out of Brian Dawkins this will probably be like the fifth time he said something uh, reacted to one of my tweets um, and he um, actually reacted to me on Instagram as well. And uh, I think that's really dope for somebody to actually acknowledge their fans, man. Um, so this is pretty much what I picked up. So I did get this, and I know a lot of people in here already seen it. Um, but I said I, I would definitely share this thing again. Um, this is a nice Brian Dawkins autographed ball. Um, as you see, Mr. B. Dawkins, that came in smudged. Um, nothing I can do about it. You can rub your hands on it. It's not coming off. Um, yes, sir. Um, I definitely wanted a ball. I finally got one. I was super excited to get this ball. Um, so I have a ball. I have a full-size helmet. I have a jersey. And I was actually um, very close to buying a cleat of his that I seen. Um, somebody was selling the cleat, but I did not like the certification, so I left it. Um, it was just a certification on a piece of paper um, with no sticker. Um, so I definitely, definitely, definitely did not want to get that cleat. So if I had gotten that cleat, I would have had basically almost a uniform. Um, I know I'm not going to be able to get pants, which I really don't really want no pants anyway. Um, but I really would love to get the Brian Dawkins Denver jersey. And I do want to get the Denver ball. Um, 
I wouldn't mind getting a Clemson jersey. Um, it all depends if I can find one at a good price. Um, as you know, I do side PC Mike Williams. So I would love as well to get a autograph Mike Williams, um, Mike Williams, um, jersey, but I have not been able to find one. Um, and both my PCs, which is Mike Williams and Brian Dawkins, they are both alumni of Clemson. Um, so that makes it very interesting to be able to have both your guys go to the same college and, um. And they both responded to me on Twitter, man. Mike Williams, too, man, um, which I think is pretty dope, man. So that made me want to collect both guys even more. Um, so that's pretty much it for my mail day. Um, I was really thinking about ripping. I told in the beginning of my video that I had a box of cards that I, I could possibly rip. Um, this is basically 2003 um, tops total, which I have some Brian Dawkins top total. He should be definitely in this product. Um, this thing has um, has an extra pack in it. So it's 10 packs plus one. So it should be 11. There's 10 cards per pack. Um, this thing's looking at the box. It says it has some, has like random inserts and stuff in there. Most of them is like a, it's a base set. Um, but you have some other cards in there that are not base. You have it. Um, says a chance for you to get an auto out of here. Um, there's a chance to get some some really nice inserts. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely um, not sure what it has. Uh, but I, I thought about opening this up tonight um, after this video. I'm really not sure if I really want to or not. Um, I also have this as well. Like I said, shout out to my guy, uh, Matt. I have this as well. We have some Ultra Flare 1996. Um, this is well saying that you can get, um, different inserts as, as well. Um, so basically it's like rookie cards and you got a chance of getting different stuff. Um, so basically rookie is a base set and, um, like I said, there's different stuff you can get. So, um, thinking about maybe if I do decide to open it up. Um, I will op probably open this one first. I would probably open it roughly around 9-ish, I guess. Um, but I might just wait till tomorrow. Um, you know, a brother can't get no retail no more. Target, once you get there at fucking 8 o'clock in the morning and stand in line, like, people don't have jobs. Um, so I guess the people that don't have jobs are able to snatch up all the damn retail, which is unbelievable. Um, but... This is all I have right now. I'm actually going to be looking to um, get some more stuff in. Um, I was fortunate enough that my guy Matt had got this for me. Um, but what I really want to get my hands on, I want to get my hands on a couple boxes of 1996 Tops Finest. Um, because that was Brian Dawkins' actual rookie year. And I have his rookie card with the protection pill on there. Um, but he has a um, refractor card in there um, that I would like to get, man. And I've seen one refractor on eBay sell for a lot of money. And um, with me, it's not about the money. I PC him, so I just basically want the card. It's a nice-looking card. Um, so I would like to get a couple of those boxes some kind of way to see if I can actually get lucky enough and, and pull it, man. Um, but I don't know. So yeah so i appreciate you guys hanging out with me tonight um i still did it under an hour with all this stuff um just some stuff that just a quick stuff that i started off with i uh, started off with a bunch of you know contenders um higgins cd lamb love tua burrow um uh, dylan and yeah, that's pretty much it there. So, yep. So, yep, yep, yep. Uh, I did see your question about the um, about my favorite Dawkins card. Um, I think the the favorite Dawkins cards I have, there's a couple, but I really like the Prism, man. Um, oh man, the Prism. I really did that. The the black. Um, the black prism cards, man. The one of ones, man, are my favorite, man. 
And in 2007, I mean 2017, I actually have two of them. And um, there's four. I know where the third one is, but I don't know where the fourth one is. Um, I really love Prism, man. Like the Prism Golds too, man. They're awesome, man. And um, those aren't even the autos, man. Um, but I really would like to get the 2020 Dawkins Flashback um, autograph one of one um, just to complete my rainbow. Um, I got all the cards except the one of one. Those black cards are fire, man. And um, I love to get one. And I do like the flawless. Um, I like the flawless autos as well. Um, so I like all my flawless cards, man. I, it's so much stuff, man. I, I really. I really dig my whole PC, man. I'm really proud of the way that I, I've come along and 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 put it together. And I got to give a shout out to my guys for the ones that send me stuff to go into it and the ones that actually help me uh, not blow a whole load of cash on stuff instead of just running out and grabbing stuff and teach me how to be patient and wait for stuff to come around, especially if it's something that's like kind of high number, like out of 25 or 30. You know you got a good chance of seeing those cards again. Now, the ones that's out of 10 and 5 and 3 and 4, then you might have to jump on and buy. Uh, but, you know, my guys taught me a lot, man. And um, I think I've been collecting maybe now for two or three years. Um, so I'm still kind of new at it. Um, but I won't look at a rookie card that says, you know, a card that says, hey, it's a rookie. And you know damn well if it says a rookie, and it says 2020 on there, but he came out in 2005. You know, damn well, that's not an official rookie card. Um, so I'm not that retarded. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's basically about it, man. Um, like I said, those that are new or might just happen to stop in after um, I finish this video, man. Um, you know, I never disappoint. I do um, mail days. I always have good stuff, even if it's not a lot. Um, I, I'm true to what I say. I won't disappoint you. You will see something that you're interested in, even if it's not your team. You might like a card and say, hey, I want to get that for my team. Um, so, yeah, you know, I have good people coming here. Um, I appreciate everybody. Look like I had, at one point, I had 15 people in. A few people didn't comment, but it's all good. You know, they came in, and that's what I want, trying to get my name out there a little bit. Um, you know, I still do um, every here and there. I, I do still get in racks. Um, I'm I really not so much big into them like I was because I'm, I'm really not, um, not on... Um, not on uh, Twitter like that that much, but um, yeah. What you talking about, man? What you mean, brother? I'm looking at the same picture you are. I see the colors, but that's that's definitely not uh, Mr. Warren Moon. Stop it, man. Only thing that we remotely close to Warren Moon is the, the background color and the little trim that's here. This definitely does not look like Warren Moon. I will send you some Chiefs cards with some poo-poo on there for you to say something like that. And I'll make sure I seal it nice in the bag. <laughs> and I'll make sure it's a good one too, man. And smear poo-poo all over it. So you'd be upset that you got a Chiefs card that you like, but it got poo on there. So it'd be up to you to wipe it off and keep your card. <laughs> oh, man. You know it for the win. But, guys, that's pretty much all I got. No, I would not never do that, man. Love you too much like a brother, man. I wouldn't disrespect you like that. Um... But yeah, and um, I guess like I said, next time y'all um, y'all send me something, those that got cards, man, make sure you send me your card. As you see, I'm advertising for Eloy Flores over here, um, Mr. Goat's Cards Breaks. Um, you know, that's pretty much where I get all my supplies and stuff at, man, so shout out to Eloy. Um, he do give fair prices, uh, good guy to deal with, depending on what day of the week you talk to him. I'm just messing. But, yep, that's pretty much it for my mail day. 
um, like I said, I can't thank you guys enough for being supportive of my channel. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I don't think I could keep doing these because it'd be boring um, coming in here. Um, thank you, man. I appreciate you coming in, Fester. Um, it'd be boring coming in here with not a soul to communicate with, man. Uh, so I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, I'm hoping to keep this thing rolling. Um, but yeah. Yeah, man. And so, man, hit up, hit up Alloy, man. He got you. He got you, baby. He got what you need. 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 But yeah, I'm about to break out of here, man. I'm about to put some cards up. Um, I guess if I do um, bust open some packs, I probably just um, hit a few of you up, let you know I'm, I'm gonna bust some packs open, and um, you know we can come here and meet again, or might do like a Facebook uh, Facebook live or something like that. I don't necessarily need to have it on the channel. Um, it might not be a bad idea to do another rip, uh, another um, another rip and chill, um, but. Um, yeah, I might bust open um, the tops total. And if somebody, I don't know how you guys feel about tops. Um, like I said, my guy Dawkins is in there. Um, if you guys see anything, if I rip these, if you guys see something, um, I would definitely um, let you guys um, have the card. I mean, I wouldn't charge you nothing for them. Um, you know, that's just high roll, man. I don't know if you guys are... Or super PCers like I am, but I know Eloy and uh, Eloy and uh, Big Cat. You know they they're big on their team, so they do like base cards and inserts and stuff. Um, so I don't mind sending those out for for pretty much nothing. Um, I just have to let you know when I'm going to open those packs, man. Um, but until next time, I will see you guys later. And if I do decide to go live again tonight, which I doubt. Um, I will make a post of it, and those numbers that I have in my phone, I will hit you up and send you a text and say, hey, man, I'm going live for a little bit. Um, but until next time, man, I love you guys. Hope you all be safe. Um, hope to talk to you all really, really soon. And, yeah, you guys take it easy. You all have a good night. Have a glorious, glorious rest of your Saturday night and a glorious Sunday. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.